They say the best things in life are never intentional. I guess I got into teaching by accident. I just needed a job and I, I like to teach, so. That accident became a career. The best eventually moved in across from Austin Elementary, making memories there for almost 25 years. There are several Little House books describing the way they lived. In, in the North Woods. But hollow reading wasn't enough. After we finished the books, we had a Laura party. And we, the little girls dressed in long dresses, the boys dressed in the way they did in, in those days. And for an afternoon, Mrs. Best's room would become the world of Laura Ingalls Wilder. It was learning. I think it's not just the art, it's learning that we are interested in. A piano major in college, Gladys did find a second love in sharing the arts. She taught piano privately, and the numbers are staggering. Somewhere between 30 and 40 each year, I guess. And I taught about 20, about, I think about 42 years. And when they performed, she lived those moments with them. Well, you're hoping the person didn't make a mistake, because I've been to, through recitals that I was giving. Gladys Best stands strong for all that education is. The best a person can do is, is what one should do, I think. Part of living well is understanding. If you don't know why people are doing something, what's the point? In Abilene, Dustin Tatro, KTAB News.